Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we're tracking for you on Monday, the 9th of October. PM Modi expresses solidarity with Israel. India gears up for evacuation efforts. Five Indian states to vote in key elections in November. An Afghan earthquake skill more than 2,400. And now for all the details. As a full-fledged war escalates between Israel and Palestine, India has issued advisory for its nationals in the conflict region, asking them to remain vigilant and directly contact the missions in case of emergency. In a sharp shift from New Delhi's traditional reaction on Israel-Palestine, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has expressed solidarity with Israel as other world leaders have denounced the terror attacks. A senior cabinet minister also informed that the government is constantly monitoring the situation in the Middle East. Because India, first of all, is a very important country in the world, but secondly, India comes from a position of a country who knows terrorism. So it comes from a point of, new, uh, of knowledge and not of uh, ignorance. And for that, we are very much thankful. And again, Israel needs only the moral and political support. The work on the ground, we know how to do it. But we need to have the ability to execute the plan in order to make sure that Hamas will not threaten anyone else again. Meanwhile, Nepal's foreign ministry has confirmed the death of 10 Nepali nationals in the attacks. Family members of the one of the deceased students said they got the information about their son's death through media reports and lamented that no government authorities had contacted them yet with any information. Also, Israel has declared a war against a designated terror organization Hamas after the group conducted raids and launched rockets into Israel on Saturday killing more than 700 people, including several foreign nationals, making it the deadliest incursion into Israeli territory in the last 50 years. The violence has fueled volatility in global markets with oil prices rising, while several international air carriers have suspended flight services with Tel Aviv. Well, flood victims in India's northeastern state of Sikkim have recounted horrifying stories of how they ran from their houses in the middle of the night after hearing of impending flood waters. The death toll due to floods in the state has surpassed 73 after a glacial lake burst its banks and triggered flash floods last week. Residents were seen clearing up slush, sand and mud from lanes with earth movers and from their houses manually with shovels. In the low-lying towns, most houses were inundated with slush as high as 10 feet. We had all the people who had to and said that the dam was going to be broken. So, we had to get documents from this, but as much as it was in the house, we had to get out of it. So, we had to get out of it. Now, we were all in the house. Now, we had to get out of it. We were here, down the house. We had to get out of it. We had to get out of it. Also, rescue and search operations have continued in Sikkim as at least 101 people are still missing. Parts of the state are also experiencing fuel shortages, with supplies unable to reach the disaster-hit areas after the floods washed away roads and bridges. Moving on, the Election Commissioner of India, Rajiv Kumar, on Monday announced the Legislative Assembly elections will be held in Chhattisgarh, Madhya Pradesh, Mizoram, Rajasthan and Telangana states between November 7th and 30th, while counting of votes will be held on the 3rd of December. Main Opposition Congress Party, which leads the India Alliance, is in power in Rajasthan and Chhattisgarh, while PM Modi's BJP rules Madhya Pradesh and its ally is in power in Mizoram. Telangana in the south is ruled by Bharti Rashtriya Samiti, a strong regional party. 
Well, the elections are expected to give an indication of the voter mood ahead of national election due next year. PM Modi has been campaigning in these states even before election dates were announced. The date of poll will be 7th November and date of uh, counting would be 3rd, which is common, of course, for all these states. And elections in all these states would be completed by 5th of December. So date of uh, poll is 7th November. Similarly, in case of Chhattisgarh, the elections would be in two phase. The date of poll would be 7th November and 17th November. Moving on, massive protests have erupted across POK in recent days against inflated electricity bills and wheat crisis. A report. A complete shutter-down strike and massive rallies were recently held by political activists and locals in Pakistan-occupied Kashmir against rising prices of electricity and black marketing of wheat. The protesters voiced anger that they are fed up as the administration, millers and the big dealers have forged a nexus to sell subsidized wheat to earn huge profits while they face shortage of the essential food item. Gandam ki khridari, you know that in the highways, Gandam ki khridari, there is a lot of corruption in the highways. There are many people who have no quota of Gandam, but they don't have any quota of Gandam. The other thing is that the bills of the bills, the bills of the bills of the bills, the bills of 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 the power companies, the bills of Kishmir have bought. And the bills of 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 the bills, the bills of 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 the bills. Locals in POK say they are being forced to bear the brunt of Pakistan's economic crisis in the form of hike in taxes and shortage of essential commodities. And they see no relief in sight in near future. And powerful earthquakes in Afghanistan have resulted in the killing of more than 2,400 people and has left 9,000 injured. The Taliban said on Sunday in the deadliest tremors to rock the quake-prone mountainous country in years. Saturday's quakes in the west of the country hit 35 kilometers northwest of the city of Herat with one of 6.3 magnitude, the U.S. Geological Survey said. Many injured were immediately rushed to the hospitals with most of them women and children. Rescue operations were underway till the last reports came in, as many are still fed, trapped in the debris. Also hemmed in by mountains, Afghanistan has a history of strong earthquakes. The country's healthcare system, which is reliant almost entirely on foreign aid, has faced crippling cuts in the two years since the Taliban took over. Bangladesh Foreign Minister A.K. Abdul Momen has urged everyone to ignore rumors of new U.S. sanction, adding that there has been no discussion about such punitive action with Washington. Momen, who was responding to media query over reports indicating new sanctions on individuals, said the stories were cooked up by media and there was merit in the rumors. Not a single person did tell us that a tornado is coming. U.S. only wants free and fair elections, he was quoted as saying by news agency UNB. He added during the discussion with U.S. authorities, there was no mention of even a participatory or caretaker government. Comments from Mumain comes amid multiple calls by Western governments for free and fair elections. U.S. earlier last month had also begun implementing new visa policy banning the entry of Bangladeshi nationals, which they believe have undermined elections in their home country. And as Cricket World Cup fever grips India, a jeweler and an artist have created miniature replicas of the World Cup trophy with gold and turmeric, displaying remarkable creativity and craftsmanship. Take a look. Keeping up with the spirit of Cricket World Cup celebrations, a jeweler in India's Vadodara city has made a miniature gold World Cup trophy. It took him around three days to complete the miniature trophy, which is shorter than two inches and weighs almost 10.75 grams. The 13th edition of the 50-over World Cup began on 5th of October, heralding six weeks of high-octane action in a country madly in love with the game. 
जैसे कि हर भारतीय के लिए वर्ल्ड कप एक त्यौहार की तरह है तो हम भी इस त्यौहार में सहभागी होने के लिए हमने 22 टू कैरेट का एक वर्ल्ड कप बनाया हुआ है मीन वाइल एन आर्टिस्ट इन इंडिया ईस्टर्न भुवनेश्वर आउट वन इंच टॉल वर्ल्ड कप ट्रॉफी ऑन टर्मरिक दैट ई क्लेम्स इज द वर्ल्ड स्मॉलेस्ट Cricket is considered a religion in India which remains pretty much a one sport nation despite the country's improved performances in other sports. Main is avsar par main main ek jo haldi ka upar ek sabse chhota 1 inch ka ek trophy bana world cup ka trophy banaya hu aur ye mujhe banane mein 2 din samay laga aur main isliye banaya hu jo world cup mein khelne sabhi desh ke khiladiyon ko मेरे इसकी कला कला के माध्यम से शुभकामना देना चाहता हूँ टैग टीवी ब्रिंग्स यू डेली न्यूज बुलेटिन फ्रॉम इंडिया ब्रेकिंग न्यूज एंड व्यूज फ्रॉम इंडिया